Some tourists I spoke with say they're all for the decision, while others think it might scare away business. Monterey Bay Aquarium visitors not only needed a ticket and a mask to enter, but also proof of vaccination or a negative COVID-19 test. This requirement started as of November 1st and has left some with mixed feelings. I mean, I'm very for it. I think it's a good step in the right direction. It serves as like more safety or yeah, it serves as like a safety barrier for the children that are already inside and using the services of the aquarium. I understand it and I respect the business's decision to do so. As for vaccines, I am a scientist and I do believe that they work and everyone should take them, but I don't like imposing things on people. The aquarium is requiring guests 12 years or older to show either the original copy or digital photo of the vaccine or the California Smart Health Card. On average, the aquarium will welcome about 2 million people per year. The aquarium says the decision was made to protect guests. Because we have so many families that come visit the aquarium. Of course, children under 12 are not able yet to get vaccinated. We want to make sure that they have a safe environment, as well as the environment for our staff, our volunteers, and all of our visitors. One visitor from San Francisco who came to visit the aquarium today says she felt a lot safer knowing this policy was put in place. I had no idea that it was today was the first, but I probably would not have come had it not been this policy. I think it's incredible. I wish that this had started a year earlier. The aquarium did have to turn away people without a vaccine cart or negative COVID-19 test, but feel it won't have an effect on business. We anticipate that actually our visitors will embrace it and that um, people will be very, very happy that we're taking this, this, this step. For those who aren't vaccinated, you can take a negative rapid COVID test or take a PCR test. Take it within 72 hours of visiting the aquarium. Reporting for Wake Up, Stephanie Aceves, KION News Channel 546.